Hi everyone, welcome to Pineapple Knits, a knitting and spinning video cast. I'm Marina, and you can find me everywhere on the web at Pineapple Yarn, especially Instagram, where I'm most active. And you can visit my hand dyed yarn, fiber, and candle company at pineappleyarn.com. Thanks so much for joining me again this week. And if this is your first time viewing, welcome. I'm so glad that you found the podcast and you've taken the time to join us. This is a podcast mostly about knitting and spinning and other fiber related crafts. And I am coming to you today from coastal South Carolina. We've actually had really cool weather for this time of year. It's probably been like low 70s and it's dropped down to the 60s in the evenings. So that's so crazy. And um, yeah, not complaining. It's been really nice having a little break of cooler weather just because we all know the heat and humidity, whew, it really hits you like a brick wall. So um, yeah, that's been just really enjoyable. I'm wearing a shawl today. Like, what is this? It feels like fall. So crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I've been so busy this week. Um, I've actually been painting a bathroom. Um, one of my bathrooms in my house, I'm not going to go into my house because y'all heard me talk about it, <laughs> but we have one bathroom. It's a full bathroom and we have, we all use it. So me, my husband, my five children, we all use this bathroom. I think my kids are still young enough where they want to hang out where their parents are, which is just like, I'm sure that will change someday, but it's just kind of funny. So we, this bathroom gets used a lot and um, I decided to give it a, le a little refresh this week, and so I've been painting, um, you know, removing and replacing the caulking, um, I painted the vanity, you know, just kind of like a nice refresh. So, I wanted to start off by saying that because I have some paint on my hands, that's what it's from. <laughs> I did try and scrub it off, and I do actually wear gloves a lot of times when I paint, yeah, it didn't happen uh, today. So I do have some paint on my hands and you'll see that. But the other thing is I wanted to introduce you to a new product. Um, this is what I'm drinking and this is what I've been drinking um, this whole week. So the backstory is, you know, you go to, at least this is in my mind, I go to, you know, do a little bathroom refresh, a little paint, you know, maybe paint, touch up the baseboards, what have you. And I always think it's going to be such a fast and, uh, you know, easy project. And I guess because there's no furniture in a bathroom most of the time, I, I don't really know. So that's what I thought at the beginning of this week when I decided to go in and paint the bathroom and do a little maintenance jobs here and there. And I think it was about the time where I was wedged halfway under the toilet tank, trying to reach and paint under there. And then I noticed the caulking around the toilet needs to be replaced. Yeah, I think it was about that time that I remembered why I don't like to do bathrooms. <laughs> so needless to say, all these like contortionist things that I've been doing, my neck and my shoulders have been so sore. And then also just dyeing yarn, it's physically taxing on my arms. So this new product from Teamy, it's called Teamy Restore, and it is a, I mean, it's basically a magnesium drink. It has lots of magnesium in it. It has vitamin C and turmeric. And not only is it great for stress because magnesium and it, magnesium is great to reduce stress anyway, I have found in my own life, but then also it's so great for muscles. It's a great muscle relaxer. And so uh, yeah, I have been drinking this all week and I've been loving it. Um, it has a really great citrusy flavor and now I've been drinking it hot and I think that's what's recommended on the package, but I don't see why you couldn't, you know, make a hot cup like this and then basically make iced tea, you know, take some ice cubes, fill up a cup. It would be delicious cold. So that's what I've been drinking. It's available on their shop now. I will also put some coupon codes up on the screen um, because why not? We always love a coupon. But yeah, this is really, really good. And um, probably about two days ago, my muscles were really, really hurting. So 
this has brought down the muscle tension in my neck and my shoulders tremendously. I don't feel it at all today. So, and I'm almost done with the bathroom too, which is really, really great. So yeah, if you are looking for a really great magnesium supplement or really good citrusy drink to incorporate into your life, I love this and just wanted to share it with you. I also lit um, one of these candles from last month's club. This is from the June installment of the Glow Club and it's called Nature's Beauty. And this candle smells so awesome. It smells like floral and rain and just, it's really good. It has some really great natural scents. It has some citrus in it too. So that is what I'm burning today for little, little ambiance and it's so great. And I can't go without saying what I'm wearing as well. This is the Dotted Rays Shawl by Stephen West. This is the first one that I made and it's so old that it's not even on Ravelry. And so I don't even remember all of the yarn makers um, or, and names, or colorway names, but I know this first one is a colorway that I dyed that I don't even have the recipe to, but this one is from Pineapple Yarn. The second colorway, which I loved, is this one. It has some like grays in it, I'm sure you can see. This was from Jinx Yarns, and it was one of her experimental dye lots. I loved her yarn so much. And I think that this maybe was supposed to be self-striping because she was really, she did some, you know, variegated speckled yarns, but she did tons of just awesome self-striping yarn. But anyway, I love this. This has some really pretty like blues and grays and whatnot in it. Really pretty. The third colorway is a, I want to say it's a mini skein and you can see it right down here. It has these just gorgeous terracotta um, and oranges. This is just such a beautiful color. I think it was maybe by, oh, I'm not sure. I'll post it below if I, if I remember who I bought that from. It was so, this was a long time ago and I just don't remember. I know it had been in my stash for a while. And then this final color, um, this kind of pinky color down here, I th believe is the colorway Mirth from A Homespun House. So yeah, this was, oh, I just, I love the colors in this so much. And I'm wearing my purple shirt here because I just finished uh, another coat in my bathroom. <laughs> and so I'm just not super prepared for podcasting today, but this is the real me. This is, this is what you get today. So yeah, I just thought I'd throw this on and um, just roll with it. But I have been doing some knitting this week. I started a new project. I have a finished object, so I guess we'll just jump into it. So I want to share with you uh, my first finished object. Actually, it's my only finished object. <laughs> but this is a pair of socks from my Sun Club from May, I believe. And I was so excited to get out on the machine and have some time to be able to do this. These turned out so fun. And the colorway knit up was just, I'm just in love with it. It's so, so gratifying to see one of your colorways in a project. Those are some crazy socks and I just, I just love them so much. And I paired this with my colorway princess. You know, I, I have a cake of it, I have full skein, all caked up. I'm actually running out of it at this point, but I do it a lot. Just put it on my cuffs and my heels because I like pink. So um, it turns out really nice, but I made these socks for myself. I think what I'm going to start doing um, is, because I do have quite a few pairs of socks, that was kind of my goal at the beginning of the year is to get some more socks in my stash. And so far, so good. I was doing like two pairs a week, which was so fun, but a little crazy too. Um, but what I'm gonna start doing is, you know, it's almost July and I need to start thinking about some gift knitting. So I think what I might do is 
just start cranking some socks for different gifts and you know different people I might have in mind I think that I just don't for me um, a hand knit object is so commonplace and I always knit for my children and I yeah it's just so commonplace that I underestimate how impactful of a gift this can be and um, Someone who I gifted a pair of socks to, I mean, she just cannot even get over how much she loves them and she can't even believe that it's wool because the yarn is so soft. And the, so my yarn base, um, my pineapple yarn Lonnie sock base is very soft and it's just so funny because people don't realize that wool doesn't have to be itchy. But anyway, that was this and um, hopefully someday this was a club color, so it won't be in the shop anytime soon, but hopefully someday, um, once a certain amount of time's passed, I will hopefully be putting this color away in the shop because it was really, really fun to knit with. My next work in progress is my current dotted raised shawl, and this is the um, pattern by Stephen West, which I mentioned earlier, and I'm knitting this with a speckled fade set that I had listed in my shop oh gosh at this point maybe two months ago and they're all sold out unfortunately but um, I kept one for myself and here's where I'm at right now <laughs> this shawl is going to be massive it will be very close to the large size in the um, as specified in the pattern this is the small size that I'm wearing right now but this is the top of the shawl. So it starts off right here and it's knit in wedges and I am at my last color. So this was a set of 50 gram skeins, um, six of them, I believe. And I've gone through all six. So I have, when, I'll, when I'm done, I will have about three Full skeins of yarn total in this and this is I, there's no good way to show you this anymore because it's just so massive <laughs> so I'll just hold it up this is upside down but you can tell the lightest colors at the bottom way way down here if I can get to it so it started off with this beautiful you know peachy yellowy speckly um, color and now we're to this color which has a lot of those colors incorporated but I've also I also added some greens and some deeper yellows and some um, bright pops of blue so this is really turning out pretty. I will give you a close-up of oh goodness I dropped some stitches. I'm telling you this is this thing is massive. It is a massive project. Here we go. That is what the color looks like that I'm knitting up right now. You can kind of see some of the fading from one color to another. Those are the three. Oh, I think I just started on the darkest color actually. So those are, you know, maybe numbers three, four, and five in the set. And I made the decision starting off, um, starting out that I wasn't going to fade any of the skeins. I'm still happy about that. Um, I think it would look more blended. Obviously, it would look more blended if you faded them. <laughs> if you alternated rows with different um, with different skeins, so you can see right here the difference between colors number. Um, I think this is colors number one and two. But I love this shawl because you knit it in wedges, and so um, just the distinct way that you knit this pattern. I really liked that and I kind of wanted to highlight that by using different skeins and then by not fading them. So um, now this one, this dotted raised shawl, I did fade the colors. So I'm looking at it now and I did alternate. I would go like back and forth and then do the next one back and forth. And um, I don't think I followed any kind of the dotted raised fade pattern wasn't out yet. So there wasn't any kind of method to this, like I just did it. <laughs> so yeah, it is coming along. Here's the ball. I ended up having to um, wind this into a ball. I did have a massive cake of yarn with all six skeins in one massive cake. It was a little, just, it was a little ridiculous to be honest, but 
this is where I'm at right now and I didn't weigh it. If I do remember to weigh it while I'm editing the podcast, I will pop the weight up here. But I think last week I had maybe 144 grams left. So yeah, it's coming along. And um, I'm hoping that I will be done by next week, but you know what? I'm just not sure. Um, it depends if I can really push through and knit. I have had, I, I usually do the bulk of my knitting in the evening and um, I've had several interruptions this week and so I just haven't been able to knit as much as I like, which is fine, that's life. But um, yeah, I'm, already, I'm also just a little bit behind of where I would like to be. <laughs> So that is that. Um, now I did start another project because I had planned it and the yarn came, so I thought, why not? Let's cast on this new project. So the backstory of this project is that um, I usually do baby gift knits for people I know who've had babies. And just because they are, I mean, it's such an impactful gift and it's so special. But then it's also really gratifying for me to knit because it's a short project. <laughs> so I'm just being honest, but I really do love baby knits. They're really fun. Um, so one of our very, very close family friends in um, Indiana, where we used to live, just had her first baby and the baby has been in the NICU for several months. So um, I've wanted to make a knit a sweater for her for quite a while. And just, I'm just getting around to it right now. And I am right here. <laughs> so I've begun the motif and it is charted, which is really nice. But I've begun this little cute, cute, like a leaf motif. I don't know what I would even call it. And I'm using or you can see that a little better. But I am using this um, yarn. I don't think I've ever knit with it before. It's from Plymouth Yarn. It's called Dream Baby DK. And I purchased this from Jimmy Bean's Wool. And I just recently purchased it. And they are having free shipping maybe through this month. So... Um, this yarn was very inexpensive and I only purchased two skeins of it. So needless to say, uh, my purchase price was very, very low and they, st I still received free shipping. So it's just a really good deal. The reason I purchased this, the fiber content is 50% acrylic microfiber and 50% nylon. So this wouldn't normally be something I would, um, I'm, I'm such a huge wool fan. I'm such a huge natural fibers fan, but with a baby who, and she is out of the NICU now, she just, she just went home after several months, but I would imagine that wool maybe wouldn't be the first fiber um, her parents would want her to wear. I'm not sure. Um, so just out of respect for maybe some her medical issues or whatnot, I just decided to go with this and I'm sure it will be great. So far, I'm knitting it and, and it's just going great. I mean, it. I, I love kind of, even with a super wash wool, I, it has a little bit of toothiness and bounce. I mean, you can definitely tell the difference with a yarn like this, but... At the same time, this will be such an easy care yarn for um, for my friend, and I, yeah, I just think that it's it was a really good choice. So I'm loving this, loving knitting on this. Um, I am using a, the called for needles in the pattern, which is very unusual. <laughs> The only reason I'm doing that is because on the ball band for this, it calls for a U.S. size six needle. Um, and I'll be honest, I didn't swatch the pattern, the, the larger like main needle, they call for a US size four. So I just went with the four and I love the fabric that it is, that's knitting up. So anyway, I'm 
just continuing to knit on this and it's been really fun so far so hopefully it turns out um, to be a really cute gift knit and um, yeah I was really happy to start that project finally and hopefully this will kind of get me into um, kind of I'm, I'm in a rut right now of I just need to knit some baby gifts and send them off to people so hopefully that will keep the ball rolling on that so this week I have continued to do beach knitting. Um, I have been knitting washcloths at the beach and as soon as I get one done, someone takes it from the family. Someone just takes a washcloth. So I, they're being used, thank goodness, right? I, I don't think they're being made into doll blankets. I legitimately think they're being used as washcloths, so that's great. <laughs> but I just placed an order from Knit Picks with some more cotton yarn because I've enjoyed this so much so yes I am on I guess officially now on the cotton washcloth bandwagon um I'm going to try them in my kitchen as well because I'd really like to get away from using microfiber and just start using more natural fibers so we'll see if it works out <laughs> but um yeah I'll be sharing that with you but when I'm knitting the same washcloth in essence every week I'm probably not going to show you until I have a stack of them and as of now I don't have a stack because everyone keeps taking them so that's where I'm at with the cotton washcloths and um, the pattern I've been using for those I will post down below it's grandma's favorite I think is what it's called by PJ Allen it's a very popular pattern and it's free it's fabulous so I wanted to share one more thing um, it's an acquisition that I received in the mail this week I have um, not shared with you for a while any of my Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club boxes because I was just amassing so many of them and not using them. Um, they also started sending a lot of just natural undyed fibers, which I have a lot of undyed fibers <laughs> um, because I dye fiber myself. So I just, I, I stopped subscribing. And then, but I still received the emails. And so this past month, they sent an inspiration photo. And I don't think this was the exact photo, but I'm just going to show it to you anyway, because it kind of gives you an idea of what they were going for. So it's just kind of like a fairy, whimsical, um, you know, they say enchanted forest. So... I was like, that sounds great. I am laying you know, out lots of colors. I'm going to try it out and see how it goes. And I was very pleased with this month's, um, this month's fiber. So as I opened up the box, they included this tea. And so I'll have to try this out and see how this goes. I'm really excited to try it. But the tissue paper was so pretty. It's this lavender, kind of sparkly tissue. And this was what was inside. It was this little box packed with all kinds of goodies. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk through. This is definitely for purple lovers. There are a lot of like really pretty lavender, purpley um, colors in here. So this, I can't even believe I still have this in the box because I always open this up with my girls and they... It's so funny, they just love it. <laughs> so I'm really surprised they still have this little book in here. This really cute little lined notebook. It's stitched on the the edge. I thought it was so cute. And then this twig pencil, which was super, super sweet. I thought that fit the, um, the theme so well. So that was really cute. I most likely I will save it for one of my children because... I think they will get so much joy out of it. <laughs> but then the next cute little thing in here was this treasure box. Or I should say treasure chest. And as you open it up, it is all of this Angelina sparkle fiber in a really pretty, um, almost like a lavender... 
I think it was like a lavender color, and then this Progress Keeper was also in the box. And it is full of tiny blue stars, and all of the accents are gold. So this was just such a cute little Progress Keeper. I loved that, that little um, Progress Keeper. Definitely will be using it. So cute. This almost also got taken out of my box. <laughs> it's just so cute. And then the fiber was in it is Raimi, which is, I didn't know what Raimi was. It is actually from the middle of the nettle plant. And so they included this really pretty undyed, um, I think it is, let's see, it's two ounces of undyed Raimi in this pretty organza bag. And so that will be fun to play with. Um, it doesn't feel as, it definitely is a cellulose fiber. Like it, you can tell, you can just tell that it's kind of planty. It's kind of like a cellulose fiber. Um, and it's not as soft as like, it's not as silky as like bamboo or, um, I know there's like faux cashmere that has that really like lofty soft um, feel. It almost feels like I have a little bit of pineapple fiber, believe it or not. It's just so crazy, but it almost feels like pineapple fiber. Anyway, that was fun. And then they included five ounces of this beautiful blend. Um, they are calling this their uh, Wisteria blend, or this may be, be, maybe this is just the colorway Wisteria, but it's in this beautiful purple organza bag. And it is an awesome blend of, let's see, it's 50% Blue Face Luster, 25% Flax, 13% Rose Fiber, and 12% Bamboo. So this is an incredibly interesting blend. Um, kind of how I have a love-hate relationship with Flax <laughs> when it's in a blend like this just keeping it real I think that's that's been my whole saying for this whole uh, podcast today but there's such a small amount of flax in this blend that I don't think it will be too tricky and also it looks to me like the flax is well blended into the fiber so yeah I I will be very interested to test this out and see how I will spin it. I know from experience <laughs> that I really have to just, an unusual fiber like this, I just have to take a piece and test it out on the wheel before I commit to a spin. And I'm laughing right now because on my wheel right now is this beautiful blend of camel and silk. And I committed to a, a spin before I really tested it and I'm not happy with it to be honest I've probably spun I haven't spun that much I don't think I've even spun an ounce of it yet but that's why I was laughing <laughs> so this was a really fun box I'm so excited that I um, I purchased I purchased it this month and um, I'll leave links down below if you're a spinner if you're interested in checking it out because a lot of times they like their fiber like this wisteria fiber um, their special blends they will actually have for sale in the shop I don't know if it's the same month or if it's the following month so if you're interested in that wisteria fiber they may have it for sale down the line or if you want to subscribe to a box so that was a really fun treat to um, receive this month and I just wanted to share it with you. So that is it for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Hopefully I'll see you again next week and I will be filming my shop update um, podcast? Shop update? Shop update preview. <laughs> I'll be filming that right after this so if you're interested in checking out some beautiful you know, mini fade sets and beautiful fiber. Um, yeah, I hope you join me for that. And otherwise, I'll be having a shop update this Friday, which is June 22nd. I really just kind of made that up. 
how about the 19th? <laughs> My update will be Friday, June 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern time at pineappleyarn.com. I hope you're doing well wherever you are and it really just spending so much time um, knitting and spinning and crocheting and having so much fun with it. So until next time, I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.